there we go so welcome to the channel guys and welcome back to chapter 3 of the beast inside if you see there's a little bit of a delay between my mouth moving and the voice coming is because I'm using a brand new um, internet webcam idea called IP webcam and I've uh, interlaced it onto the OBS system because the new tech one stopped working yesterday so there is a bit of a delay due to the networking and Wi-Fi and so on so um, yeah I made a little bit of a mistake yesterday as well recorded the whole chapter 3 and forgot to put on the sound on the desktop so there was no sound in the game only me yapping away so I had to restart the game from chapter 1 so it took me about 10 minutes to do chapter 1 and 2 so this is going to go very quick as well because I've done it last night and know exactly what to do so uh, we won't be wasting any time chapter 3 I can tell you now check it out hi guys Subscribe to my channel now so that you do not forget. Hit that bell icon and get notified of my further uploads. Lastly, feel free to comment. Show me some love by giving me a thumbs up at the end of the video. My parents old house where Emma and I decided to move hides more secrets than I could imagine. Under one of the floorboards of the attic, I discovered a hidden journal from one Nicholas Hyde. Reading it absolutely froze my blood. I don't know if the chilling passages describe real life events or if they are just mad ravings made by this Nicholas person. I'll show the diary to Emma. She might find it interesting. Let's see what you can see. I'm gonna try and uh, make the windows big enough or big again. Maybe we are lucky today or lucky now that it should actually record. Okay, we are definitely recording. Volume is up. You can hear me. You can see me. Okay, so this is chapter three. We just stopped reading the diary. We realized there's a page missing out of the diary. So let's get going. Honey, you won't believe what I found. It. Hey, Emma, can you hear me? Emma! I was calling you before, but you wouldn't even answer. Where have you been? I was snooping around the attic. I found this... The power is out, by the way. Diary? W what A fuse must have blown. Be a darling, go to the basement, and fix it before it gets dark. This place needs a lot of work. The sooner we start, the better. I don't have to tell you that, do I? Full of shit, eh? Who crawled up your panties? What's her problem? She sounded like I took a piss on a mother flower bed. Yeah. Most been a childhood here, but she never talked about it much. I'm glad to think this is where Emma and I should settle down. I can't imagine raising a kid in Boston these days. Um Adam, our dearest son. Oh, it's a letter from mom. This house belonged to our family for many decades. Some even called it Stevenson's Refuge. But when me and your dad moved to Boston, we thought Grandpa was just gonna sell it as he said he would. Riley didn't. Surprisingly, he left it for us in his will. And now you and your lovely wife will be live here. Raise your kids and simply enjoy life far away from the turmoil of our dangerous times. I can't even imagine a better place to settle down. Take good care of Emma. We'll visit you sometimes next month, if my aching hip allows that, Mom. P.S. Dad, thing, uh, Dad thinks you should be the one come up with a name for your son and daughter. I have no idea why he's insisting on that. Maybe he's just getting old and tries to leave some kind of legacy. Anyway, I act surprised when you mentioned you. Oh yeah, we read this in chapter 1 already. The reason why... The stuff is lying around guys it's because I had to restart the game all over again from chapter 1 after I accidentally recorded this game last night and I lost all sound. I didn't have any sound on the game 
So I have to redo the entire thing from scratch. I need a flashlight. It's so damn dark in the basement. Maybe I can find one in the attic. There's a lot of junk in there. So if I redo something, I apologize for that. It's just that, um, yeah, this is the second time I'm playing this chapter through. That's why I'd say it might go a bit faster than yesterday. That is the lack of surprise on my face. It's because I've done it last night. And uh, where are the yeah. fuses? You notice the place has changed a bit. Still very cluttered, but the passageway is boarded up here, so you can't go there anymore. So yeah, some things has changed. Strange. One's missing. Did someone take it out on purpose? Yeah. Maybe there's a spare fuse in the shed by the house. So we're just gonna leave doors open. This is the countryside. There's no one here. Nothing can possibly happen. And you guys noticed that big shed that was there in uh, in the past is gone. Yeah, a lot of things has been moved or taken away. You can't even come in this way anymore. I have to find an alternate route. The shed is so creepy. And now we have blood, bloody footprints. Damn, there are no fuses here. Of course. What the f... Now, now, language. What is this? Where did all the blood come from? I know. A shirt covered in blood. It looks fresh. How did it get here? Okay, now it's just that thing. Uh, crouch, crouch. Why would Emma bring my old stuff from the office here? Old stuff from the office. That's just a shit. Jesus! Emma, you scared the crap out of me. Okay, you can open the door. Emma? Honey? As you guys have noticed, I've turned the sound down a bit um, in the hopes that you guys will huh. at least hear me better. Huh. Huh. Oh. Something's not right. Maybe the localizer will show me just what's happened here. Wait, what did they say in training? Okay, here we've got some futuristic tech, supposedly in the in the old ages, <laughs> because this is not in this time, is it? So, uh, it says press X to equip and unequip the device. Localizers allow you to detect electric magnetic and quantum traces or quantum clouds. This icon 
informs you that a cloud is near. So you can see into the past. I'm not sure how far back, but maybe let's say a few hours. You can look into the past at something that was there or something that moved. Huh. If I remember correctly, this prototype device can be used to detect traces of a person's presence from the past. All I need is to be in a strong field of quantum particles, and with a little bit of luck and science, I'll be able to see a... I should follow the localizer. Green lines at the edge of the screen show the direction to go, and the numbers the distance to the nearby cloud. As you guys can see, there's a full screen. I'm 47% away. So, now we just keep on going into that direction. And you'll know when you're close this to is the cloud. place. Now I need to use the pulse to show the cloud, and I need to scan it. The localizer found something. Someone has been here. It looks like he left the rest of the clothes here. All covered in blood. I'll try to find more traces. It doesn't look good. I have to find out what happened here. It looks like a guy with a hat, but not exactly the same hat as what the killer was wearing in the journal. So, let's look for the next one. The fuse is missing, some clothes are lying all covered in blood, and a trace of a person near the shed. It's all looking very strange. Maybe it's all about the stress. On the other hand, I have to be certain that we're safe. I should use the pulse to make the quantum cloud visible, otherwise I won't see a thing. I'm at the source, but I can't read anything. The interference is too strong. There's the anomaly. Now I have to charge the localizer and hit it with a... Due to their nature, clouds can be unstable and their readability may be affected by anomalies. In this case, you will have to destroy them all. Find anomalies in your surroundings. You can make it easier by using the click right mouse button. Beam. That should do it. Time to stabilize the cloud. Now, this guy lives in a weird world. After destroying all the anomalies, turn on the quantum cloud. He's a cryptographer, what crypto, whatever, and then he's got this I weird. Did. Clearly, someone was here recently and used this rope. I'll try to find more traces. Now he's living in a world where there's like quantum waves and quantum whatever. But anyway, get off your knees, dude. And now we're gonna go into the forest. The localizer has detected a signal. That means another quantum cloud must be near. This place is huge. We've got a, a very big um, open world. It's probably my backyard, kind of. I don't know how big this uh, property is that I'm living on. It must have went up from here. Oh, now I see the blood on the steps. So much blood and it's not even dry yet. Whatever happened here, it hasn't been long. The trail leads through that gate. I'll go check it out. This guy sometimes see blood and stuff that I don't know where he sees it. Honestly, this looks like water to me. Not like blood or anything. Clearly, drag something heavy through that gate. Damn, the gate is closed. I need to look for a way around. Let's see. Yeah, that doesn't work. Some planks are loose. I'll try to break them out. <gasps> Come now. Mm. Mm. 
You see, moving the mouse to break stuff is difficult, really. To go to the left, to the left. Such an irritation. Okay, happiness. The blood hasn't dried yet. I'll follow its trail. Maybe someone needs help. Damn it! Closed. Just closed. Take a look. It looks like something or someone is hanging in there. Is that... <laughs> Fuck! This thing scared the shit out of me. I'd better Sorry. check what the localizers detected before I go in. Ah, oh, damn. I can't put my cell phone softer because my cell phone is recording this video. So if there's any uh, sounds coming through, guys, sorry. I apologize for that. I forgot to turn the... Um, Volume down. Come on, move it a bit closer. Come on, 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 come on. Up it up and up it easy. This guy is such a fucking asshole. Normal people can do it without any problems. Anomalies in the area. Three anomalies, there we go. That's one. There we go. And three. There you see it. Now I'm missing it out on why? Oh, there it is. There we go. Who is he? What did he hide here? A hunting knife. Someone must have used it recently and tried to hide it there. I'll take it, just in case. Now we go back to the barn. Maybe I can find a side entrance. We have something to cut the rope with. Yeah, normal people will cut the rope on the side where it's the thinnest. Not try and cut the the knot itself. I need but to try to get inside. Anyway. Open the door. Oh God, who could have done this? This wasn't just some poacher, more like a fucking sadistic hunter. That's not all. Look at that. 
Wait, that beeping. It's as if it's coming from the inside. The animal is hung up on a rope. Maybe I can get up there and cut it down. This guy's not too bad. If we can just get this out of the way uh, in a better way than last night. Because last night I actually struggled getting a box out because the stuff was in the way. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Last one. Really? Yeah, you're a bloody idiot. Really? Normal person can jump over this shit. This guy's useless. When it comes to moving. Oh yeah. Uh, hold on. Uh, where did I find that yesterday? There was something. Really? Come on, you can do it. That's it. And now you realize you're too short. And you go to oh yeah, to the table and voila. I could use that crate to reach the ladder and climb up. Oh yeah, wasn't there something in here as well? No, that's just the box. At least this time is clever enough to cut where the rope is the thinnest. Okay, take a look inside. Come on, you can do it. Come on, come on. Yeah. Oh, this is sick. I think I'm gonna puke. You are sick. Putting your hand in there. Wow, the fuse that's missing. What's all this equipment? And why was it in? Fuck, what if the Soviets sent someone to follow us? Well, there's the fuse. So the fucker who gutted the animal has also been in our house. In our basement. If this isn't a threat, then I don't know what is. At least I've got the goddamn fuse. Time to go to the basement and turn the power back on. I don't like this. Someone's butchered a deer and the evidence suggests that sick fuck has been in our house. Yeah, oh wow, now the door suddenly opened. Now you start wondering, why would they do all of this to try to get me out of the house? So why are, uh, where is I remember my back in the day some twisted kids in the area played with the occult, but I don't think this could have been them. Besides, the equipment that was inside it looked military grade. Clearly the locals make new neighbors feel welcome. I just hope they don't mistake us for turkeys on Thanksgiving. I suppose you jump on that rock guy. Sorry guys for the background noise. Kids are awake. So I'm trying to do this as soon as possible. Uh, 
Wait, wait, wait. Here we go. Power's back on, I guess. Hmm, interesting. Or maybe it's no big deal. Maybe I've just been reading too much poll. Well, my job here is done. I better go back under Emma's thumb, considering her mood swing. And it's only the third month. What's it gonna be like by the ninth? Well, how long is it gonna take before he's gonna start opening up that wall? <laughs> Boom! Jesus, woman! <laughs> You want me to have a heart attack? Cool, huh? Wonder if some magician used to live here. Sure, Harry fucking Houdini. Maybe he's never gotten out of that hat. Actually, where did you find it? I just read about one like this. Upstairs. Now watch carefully. If it's a rabbit, I want it for dinner and a stew. Ta-da! Clever. You think you can sugarcoat the work for me with magic? Where do we start? Some time later. <sighs> Darling, do I really have to remind you what the doctor said? Uh, you've done it plenty of times already, but really, I don't have to sit idle all the time. Still, in your condition. It's not critical. I'm just pregnant, remember? But fine. If I can't help you, I'll pester you with questions. Have they called you from work yet? Mm, no. And did you give them our new number? Honey, it's the government. They even know the angle you're tilting your head at. Ugh. Gives me the creeps. Ever thought about doing something other than, you know, cryptanalysis? I mean, before you joined the CIA? Like what? Like, um, something that doesn't come with being responsible for millions of lives. Some job without all the spies, agents, and double agents lurking behind your back? Without the constant feeling that you can't trust anyone? Um, not really. Besides, I can trust you, right? What are you staring at? Can you move that piece of furniture? There's something behind it. Guys, I'm sorry if the background noise the kids are awake so they are irritating me I'm making noise Ooh. what if that's Ugh. a guy now I regret putting that thing on my head I wonder who that guy was Maybe if we hang this in the bedroom, you'll come to us in our dreams and tell us everything. I'd hang you first. Okay, okay. Sorry, buddy, you're going to the basement. That's the proper place for gentlemen from the previous century. I think that's the guy from the... In the diary. These people like their weird paintings though. It's probably not even family members. Maybe it's the game creators faces that's on the paintings. It's like Easter eggs. Shit, it's probably from the office. That is my office. I'm just going to the hallway. Hello? It's David. So, this is it, boss. This is the moment when you start to rush me and I start to sweat. Well, <laughs> I 
I don't want to press you too much, but I haven't heard from you for a week now, so I thought, maybe he was killed by bears or wolves. I'd better call him. Because you're stuck in the middle of nowhere, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm stuck in every possible way. <sighs> you're not the only one. Three quarters of the team were assigned to work on the Russian woodpecker. And on top of that, Harold has vanished. Harold? The one who intercepted the telegrams. What happened? I don't know. Stress. He's been paranoid lately, seeing Soviets everywhere. Either he went nuts and did something stupid, or those Soviets did get him after all. Fuck! O on our soil? Well, they could be anywhere. And I don't want to think he's playing both sides. To make it even worse, Bill and Mildred will shut down the project if we don't make a breakthrough in the next few weeks. I've got the documents from Janice with me. I'll get down to work. Good luck. And give my regards to your wife. I'll call you in a few days. And there goes my vacation. The cipher machine is in the office. I've wasted enough time already. So you guys know how the intro was where the people were murdered and it went back to one week earlier. This is now one week later. So we are actually now more or less where the game started, if I'm not mistaken. Ah, sorry. Didn't get enough oh, sleep last night. warm. Emma knows how to get me on my feet. So, how do I do it again? First, let's take a look at the manual. Manual, blah, 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 blah. Open the cover and place the cylinders. Easy. Okay, so we want... Uh, Two, four, five, and eight. I need to take the right cylinders from the table. Luckily, they're numbered. Mm. I need to remember that each cylinder goes into a specific position. Four... Five... And eight... Okay, the first part's done. Now it's time to set the cogs. We need to set it to 214622. 214. 6. And 22. Piece of cake. Now for the last step, the wire's at the bottom. Oh yeah. Right, now I just have to plug that in using the right order. Uh, the order was... A, F, G, Z, R, T. A, F, G, Z, R, T. A... A... F... F, 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 F... G... Z Z R T That's it. Now I just need to enter the password. Password is P uh, B B F L U P B I have to be careful. If I click the wrong P letters I'll have to reset the cogs. If L U P. Okay, it works. I can get down to it. Luckily, you don't do all of this <laughs> itching ears. Okay. What's this? It looks like a message encrypted with an enigma. Maybe with the right combination I'll be able to decipher it. Now how do I set it up? A Roman 5-3-S-T. 
This must be a clue for the encrypted message. What does it mean, though? And how can I use it to set Enigma up? Okay, I must tell you guys, last time when I played it, I still played the game on easy mode, so there was only this puzzle, and then the chapter ended. So now, this one that we're doing currently is actually new. It wasn't there. <laughs> so now I'm actually going to struggle a bit. So it's a Roman 5, 3, so it seems like we must put cog number 5 into number 3, or number 5, we must set to 3 and SD. Let's check it out. Um... If you remember number five, uh, let's do this. Well, okay, number seventeen also five D three SD. Ah, okay, fuck it. One four seven five. One four seven five. One, four, seven, seven, five, five, Three. Oops, three and ten. Okay, that should do it. So that's it going. XG. D T J. Trust no one. XL. C M H So trust no one. How did I know that? Um I Y H But yourself M V Z Number 17 looks correct. I'll use that configuration to see if my hunch was right. Why, why, why? DN. Trust no one but yourself. Sounds ominous. Who wrote this anyway? Now what? Check combinations 29 and 30. Okay, here we go. Achievement unlocked. Code Still breaker. nothing. Fuck. This terrible crime shocked. Fuck. This looks like our house. The victim's throat was slashed. This is getting too fucked up. Seriously. Okay, that's a little... God, how long has this been here? Is this blood or just rust? Is this what I think it is? More notes from Nicholas. It okay. hurts, so I must be alive. Damn it, I almost broke. Thank you guys, up to this part. At last, I was able to uh, record it again this time with the voice and everything working. So, sorry for the background noise. I'm trying to get the two and the three year old to shut up is not easy but anyway we finished chapter three the puzzle was a new thing for me i i originally started the, playing the game on easy mode so this is normal so the, i actually got an achievement wow i got an achievement actually so um well if you liked the movie give me a thumbs up otherwise remember to subscribe to my channel and come back for the next one cheers Please head over to my webpage at www.cryptzone.co.za and come and check out the page. You will notice there is a lot of information on there. Hyperlinks are provided so that you don't have a problem going anywhere.
head up to my podcast page and come and see what am I currently working on on my podcast. There is also the CryptoZone live page, which I will update regularly to let you know when I'm going to do the next show like this one. The goal is to try and do one every week. Head on over to my CryptoZone YouTube page and come and check out what are the latest videos that I am working on and also what new videos is up and coming. If you have any queries or questions, don't hesitate to ask. You can email me at shawl.reaper at gmail.com.